G'day guys, Red Goosens here, coming to you from Los Angeles, California on this 4th of July weekend. Just wanted to take uh, some time out of my day just to give you some a uh, few more tips, this weekly investing tips. So this week I wanted to talk to you, give you three tips on how to make yourself more credible with investors and with brokers. So the first tip is to, you need to jump on LoopNet, loopnet.com, and you need to be looking for deals, deals that are advertised and you know, are on the market. Uh, look for stuff that has been presented by Marcus Miller Chap, some, some bigger firms that are out there, and take that information, because they typically got really nice packages, and you want to create your own sort of investing package. You want to go and analyze the deal, and then you want to pull together a three or four page uh, deal package, right? And it's going to cover the description of the property, it's going to cover the projection financials, it's going to cover your know, investment uh, strategy. Put it together. That's, it. Uh, that's tip number one. Put it together in your own format, your own... You know, put your own logo on it. Take, take, own it as yours. It's, it's you know, even though it's, you don't have the deal under contract, you want to, the, the the idea of doing putting this together is that it makes it real for you, and you start living and breathing, putting these deals together, and so that changes your mindset, and you'll be more focused on you know, understanding the world of multifamily investing. The second bit of advice is in that deal package, you want to be chucking in your bio, your bio as a person, as an investor. You know, you don't, you won't have a ton of credibility straight up. So you're putting, you're putting your bio, but you also want to put in the bios of anyone else that you've got on your team. A mentor, very, very important to have a mentor's bio in there. Leverage those mentors and your other team members around you. Maybe an attorney, maybe a, a broker. Put those four people's bios in your deal package. That way, you can you can leverage their experience and their knowledge of the industry. Uh, and so you presented this package, this beautiful package, it's got everything, the projections look good, um, the deal looks good, and look at the team that he's created. That instantly will create credibility with not only investors, but with other people, other brokers, and they'll take you more seriously. The third bit of advice that you wanna be doing is when you're jumping on LoopNet and looking at those deals, uh, you're gonna see the, 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 the broker. The broker will be talking, uh, will have his name there. What you wanna do is you wanna give them a call. Give them a call and say to them, hey, I'm interested in uh, taking a look at some of your deals. Can you put me on your list, your email list? And they will start sending you deals constantly. What a lot of people don't do is they don't actually analyze those deals when they come through the door. So when you do get a deal that comes through the door, make sure that you go ahead and analyze it. Look at what they've, you know, t determine their vacancy rate, determine their projections, see if they're correct. And then go back to them and say, you know, I believe that this property is worth X because you, you know, because of X, Y, Z. And actually lay out why you believe the property isn't worth what it's worth. And it might be worth what it's worth. But that there is giving them, you know, you credibility in terms of you knowing what you're talking about with those brokers. So analyze the deal, email them back and say, look, I like this deal, but it needs, you know, your vacancies are wrong, uh, your net operating income is wrong, hence that you will then, you know, the, the price that you want to sell it for is not, it just doesn't make sense. So those are the three tips. Get a deal package together. You know, take a deal that is online now, put it in your own format, put your logo on it, create a four or five page deal package that's gonna have an executive summary, a title page, a table of contents, it's gonna have uh, a description of the deal, it's gonna have the financial projections, and it's gonna have your investment strategy and what your investor returns are gonna be. The third, second thing you're gonna do is put in the bios, the bios of yourself, your mentor, and any other people in your team um, that you've created, and that's gonna give you credibility. Leverage those guys, leverage other people in the industry who you're surrounding yourself with to give you more credibility. And the third bit of advice is when you are jumping on loopnet.com or anything like that, give, give the broker a call, hit them up, give them a ring and say, look, I'm, uh, I'm looking to get involved in some, some multifamily investing, can you put me on your list? And you wanna be calling you know, a dozen brokers and you'll be on their list then from then on out. And when they send you a deal, actually analyze it and then reply to them and say, I like this deal, thanks a lot for sending it through, but these are the five things that I don't believe are quite up to, st up to par. And you know, this is why I think you should be selling this property at X and I would only offer X amount of money for it. Guys, I hope you got a lot of information out of today's little one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. It is the 4th of July weekend. I'm wishing you all happy, happy America Day. Uh, and if you are traveling on the roads, be safe. We're gonna do this all again next week, so take care, be safe, and remember, happy investing. And if you do like this video, remember to subscribe below. Leave your comments, leave any advice that you want me, uh, and maybe a topic that you want me to talk about. Leave it in the comment section below. Until next week, we'll catch you later, guys. Bye.